Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Papa had 100 suits of armor in the property department of the Excello Pictures Corporation in Hollywood. Just as he was getting rid of them to a junk man, a truck pulled up and delivered 100 more, also purchased by Sydney. Now we find Papa at home, lying down, as Mama says. Jack. Jack, are you feeling better? No. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Jake, don't bumble. I'm not hearing what you said. I didn't say nothing, Becky. Then you shouldn't be making so much noise when you don't say nothing. Mama, please, please let me alone. I'm not feeling good. I've got pains, lots of pains, 200 pains, and all of them are made of iron. Oh, Papa, you shouldn't be thinking about them all the time. Uh, get up from the bed and eat something. I don't want to eat anything. Uh, what do you got? Blinches with sour cream. Mm, I've got a headache. Mm. The more you're thinking about the iron suits, the more headaches you'll get. It's like I'm always saying, Papa, you shouldn't be crying over the beans what's on the floor. Beans, floor, floor, beans. What I care about beans on the floor. I am worried about 200 suits of armor in the prop department of the studio. Maybe they're good for something. Mama, you're talking to your head. If Sydney is not knowing what to do with 100 suits of armor, and he buys 100 more, then that makes twice as much foolishness. Yes, and twice as much dumbness. Papa, you ain't thinking right. I don't want to think right or wrong. Jake, listen to me and I'll tell you something. Mm. Sidney buys a hundred times <laughs> You're telling me? Yeah. He's saying that he don't know why he bought him. I know that too, Mama. So, we know he's making a mistake. Oh, so you admit it, huh? Yeah. But the second time he's going out and buying a hundred more. You see, Papa? No. And the more we are talking, the less I am seeing. Papa, listen to me. I want you to No. So Sidney knows he's making a mistake when he buys the first hundred iron suits. It's just like the old adverb. The little baby what's boint don't like it the second time. You know something, Mama? Hmm. You should be making puzzles for the magazines yeah. instead of making them for me when I got a headache. It's very clear, Papa. Maybe it is to you, but to me it's clear like more. I'll explain. Thank you. So the little baby is boint. And the second time he don't go near the hot stove. But if he is going near the hot stove the second time, then he's got a good reason. Now you see him, Jake? <laughs> Confidentially, no. Papa, don't try to start the argument. I'm saying that Sidney's got a reason for buying a hundred more suits of army. If he is not having a reason for the first hundred, why should he have a reason for the second? I don't know, Jake. Maybe it's too hot for him out here. Uh, for Sidney? For Sidney, nothing is ever too much one way or the other. He's making it just the way he wants it. All right, so we'll wait until Sidney explains why he's buying all the iron suits with me paint. Mama, Mama, please, hold as you are waiting. Waiting. I am telling you this is the last straw. From now on, I am not in the movie business anymore. No, sir. I'm going to sell out and go back to New York. Huh? I will sell out even at a loss. And in the contract, I will make it so that the buyer has got to keep Sydney and Harold. Yeah. For that, I'll put on a big discount. Papa, you should not be thinking of selling the business. Yeah. Mama, I'm thinking of it right now. Yes. And the more I'm thinking about it, the better I'm liking the idea. Yes. It's a good idea. Why didn't I think of it before? All right, Mom, I'm going to sell. But, Jake, what about the boys? Becky, please, don't talk to me about the boys. I don't see why you... All right, Pop. So you should sell? 
Then you'll go back to New York. Sure, Mama didn't. Say, wait a minute. Say, Mama, why are you, why are you changing your mind all of a sudden like, huh? Papa, there's one thing that is about us. In business, you are the boss. Hmm. I'm never interrupting what goes off at the business office. <laughs> In New York, you're running the pants business. Yes. Yeah. Out here, you're running the movie business. Maybe once in a very little while I say something about it. But I'm not telling you what to do. So when you're selling that you'll sell, so you'll sell. So this is that. <laughs> well, a little mixed up, but it's all right. All right, Mama, we've made up our minds, so we're going to sell. Hmm? Sure, Jack, sir. And when we're getting back to New York, I'll never be going out of the house. You will never be going out. Hey, Mama, you're going crazy. You're never going to go out of the house. Don't you like fresh air? Sure, Jack, sure. I'm loving fresh air. But when we are back in New York, I don't want it that I should hear the people talk about you. Yeah, and why should the people be talking about me? Well, lots of people could be talking about you. Abraham Michelson, Sam maybe would. Sam? What would Sam be having to say about me? Me, who was his old partner? Maybe Sam would laugh. Ah, Sam never laughs, Mama. You know that. Sam is always worrying. Sometimes he smiles, but he never laughs. So maybe he would laugh this time. Laugh? Should somebody be telling him a joke? Sure. Maybe he would tell himself a joke. Mama, Mama, I know. I know you're coming to something. And you're coming to it very, very slow, just like you always do. So please, let's not waste any more time. Tell me, right in my ear, what is it? I am not coming to something, Jake. I am there. All right, Mama, I'll buy it. Where are you? With Sam, thinking about what he'll laugh at. And what will he laugh at? You, Jake. He will say, poor Jake. He sells Vinnie Pence business to go on a vacation. While he's going on a vacation, he buys a movie business. And so the movie business makes him crazy, so he comes back to New York. Because he ain't such a smart man. And then did Sam say, I'm not smart? He's got a lot of nerve saying, I'm not smart. <laughs> Didn't I run the knee pants business in New York while Sam was on the road? He's got a lot of nerve. Hey, wait a minute, Mom. How do you know he was saying I wasn't smart? Jake, I'm not saying he did say it. I'm saying that if you sell out, everybody will say that you're not smart. Because you couldn't run the business. Ah. I'll start packing. Wait a minute, Mom. No, please, wait, wait. Uh, why are you going to start packing? Because we're going to leave. Should I be leaving all my clothes here? All right, Mom, all right. I, I might have known it would be ending this way. So I won't sell the movie business. I want you should be happy, Jake. I want that you should be in our business you could enjoy. Nobody enjoys our business, Mama. Well, maybe they do a little bit. Maybe the man who owns our shoe store is liking it because he ain't got Sydney to buy 200 pairs of iron shoes. And then get the boss locked up in them, too. Don't get excited all over again, Papa. If you stay in the movie business, maybe you'll have to learn not to get red in the face. All right, all right, Mama. But I'll tell you something right now. I will stay in the movie business. I will not sell. But Harold and Sidney, those Schlamils, they won't have a tiny little thing to do with it. I'm not going to let them do anything at all. Because from now on, you know something, Mama? From now on, I am going to be the boss. Sure, Papa, sure. But you say come. Goes. All right. But you say comes and goes. So it's all settled and you're happy again. No, 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 no. Don't ever say that. I'm not happy. I have still got 200 iron suits, but nobody knows what to do with them. Oy. Maybe Sidney could think of something to do with I him. don't ever want to see Sidney. I don't want to hear him talk. I don't want to have anything to do with him. Should I make my own daughter a widow with my own hands? That's not nice to talk that day, Papa. No, to me it sounds very nice. Yes, no. Mama. Jake, that was the door buzzer. The buzzer, Mama. The buzzer. All right. Who is it? They can't look through the door, so I'll go and see. Maybe it's more iron suits delivered here, that, COD? That would be very foolish, Jake. Who would be selling iron suits here? <laughs> Ain't we still got Sydney? Hello, Ma. Hi, Ma. Hi, Sydney. Harold, I think you shouldn't be coming here today. Well, what's the matter, Ma? Papa. Everything's the matter with Papa. What's the matter? Doesn't he feel well? Uh, you should have something like that. <laughs> Sidney, maybe you should go away and come back in a couple of days when Papa's not thinking about you. Oh, we got to see him today, Ma. We wondered why he didn't come to the studios. We waited a couple of hours, and then we thought we'd come here. Mama, who is it? I guess we'd better go in, sir. All right. All right. But I want that you shouldn't get him excited all over again. Oh, no, don't worry, Ma. We got something that's going to please him. Nothing will please Papa. Mama, are you still there? Yeah, Jake, yeah, they're coming in now. They're coming. Hiya, Pa. How's tricks, Pa? Well, well, well. So then, I am not at the studio, so you could bother me. You come to my home. Now, wait a minute, Pa. Please, wait a minute. We've got something you ought to hear. And before you are telling me anything I've got to hear, I'm telling you something you've got to hear. 
From now on, boys, I am the boss. Well, did anybody say you weren't, Pa? Two hundred iron suits that I wasn't. Papa, stay sitting. Don't get up without scissors. Mama, please, don't disturb me. I'm talking to the boys. Yeah, I yell you, Wingy, boys. I don't want that the people in the whole block should hear everything. Hey, you should... All right, Becky. All right. All well, right. the armor was bothering you, huh, Pa? <laughs> should you laugh like that, Harold? There ain't anything funny to laugh at. Close your mouth. You're feeling so. Okay, Pa. You almost made a bad mistake, Pa. I almost made... Excuse me. You are telling me that I almost made a bad mistake. You are talking through your hat. No, he isn't, Pa. If you'd only give us a chance to explain. I am explaining first that you two shouldn't have a thing to do with the movie business. So you shouldn't starve. I will keep you at the studios, but... Gee, Pa, we didn't mean to be doing things that look crazy. I guess maybe the armor was. But now we've really got something, if you'll just let us explain. Yeah, all right, all right. Go ahead, go ahead. But I'm telling you now, it won't make any difference. Well... We stopped the man from taking away the armor. The man you sold the first hundred suits to is junk. You you, you stopped him? What for? Boy, maybe you said something you shouldn't, Sidney. Well, we need that armor, Ma. I'll say we do. You need it. You need the armor. <laughs> and have you got an idea for what you will use it? You see, Papa, maybe they're smart boys after all. Yeah, I'll tell you about that later. No? What are you waiting for? Go ahead, Sidney. Well, after I had the armor and the crowd showed up at the studios that day thinking we were going to shoot a costume picture, I got to thinking, why not? Why not what? Why not shoot a costume picture? Don't they wear clothes in any of the pictures, Harold? Oh, sure, Ma, but, well, a costume picture means a picture with a story laid in one of the years when the people wore armor or, or hoop skirts. You know, things like that. Clothes that are a lot different from the ones today. So you should be making gold-fashioned pictures. Oh, you don't understand, Ma. Listen, Pa, Marcia Chevalier's our drawing card. She goes big in any picture, but put her in a costume picture and she'll kill him. Sidney, why should she kill people? Is she mad again? No, Sid means she'd be a bigger hit than ever. Sure, we're a quickie company, but let's make a picture that'll set everybody on their ears. Everybody on their ears and me too. Now listen, Pa, let's do it. We can use that armor and we know what story to use. Sure. No. Oh, but Pa, this is bound to go over. We got a hit. Why don't you do it? Look, the story is a natural. It's swell. It's colossal. It's terrific. And with Marc Chevalier in it, why, it'll coin money, Pa. No. Papa says no, Sidney. Oh, Pa. No. A thousand times no if necessary. It would cost me a lot of money, so we should have a good story. It wouldn't cost you a dime, Pa. Oh, so it wouldn't cost me a dime. So now you're going to get things for nothing, huh? The greatest story in the world you should get for not even a thin dime, huh? Maybe you could think it up yourself, huh? Well, that's just it, Pa. We did. Yeah, that's just it. You what? Yeah, Pa. Harold and I. We finished the script this morning. Uh... 